Good morning, everybody. Second Kings 7, 1 to the end. Then Elijah said, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Tomorrow about this time, a seer of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel, and two seer of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. So an officer on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Look, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, could this be? And he said, In fact, you shall see it with your eyes, but you shall not eat it. Now there were four lep leprous men at the entrance of the gate, and they said to one another, Why are we sitting here until we die? If we say we will enter the city, the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also. Now, therefore, come, let us surrender to the army of the Syrians. If they keep us alive, we shall live. If they kill us, we shall only die. And they rose at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they had come to the outskirts of the Syrian camp, to their surprise, no one was there. For the Lord had caused the army of the Syrians to hear the noise of chariots and the noise of horses, the noise of great army. So they said to one another, Look, the king of Israel has hired against us the king of the Hittites and the king of the Egyptians to attack us. Therefore they rose and fled at twilight and left the camp intact. Their tents, their horses, their donkeys, and they fled for their lives. And when the leper came to the outskirts of the camp, they went into one tent, ate and drank, and carried from it silver and gold and, and clothing, and went and hid them. Then they came back and entered another tent, and carried some from there also, and went and hid it. When they said to one another, then they said to one another, We are not doing right. This day is the day of good news, and we remain silent. If we wait until tomorrow, tomorrow light, if, to, if we wait until morning light, some punishment will come upon us. Now, therefore, come, let us go and tell the king's household. So they went and called to the gate, gatekeepers of the city and told them, saying, We went to Syrian camp, and surprisingly, no one was there. And a human sound, and not a human sound, only horses, donkeys tied, and the tents, in fact, intact. And the gatekeepers called out. And they told it to the king's household inside. So the king arose in the night and said to the servant, Let me now tell you what the Syrians have done to us. They know that we are hungry. Therefore they have gone out of the camp to hide themselves in the field, saying, When they come out of the city, we shall catch them alive and, to, and get them into the city. And one of the servants answered and said, Please let several men take five of the remaining horses which are left in the city. Look, they may either become like all the multitude. Hallelujah. Look, they may either become like all the multitude of Israel that they are left in it, or indeed I say, they may become like all the multitude of Israel left from those who are consumed. So let us send them and see. Therefore they took the two, therefore they took two chariots with horses, and the king sent them in the direction of the Syrian's army, saying, Go and see. And they went after the, to the Jordan. They went after them to Jordan. And indeed, all the road was full of garments and weapons which the Syrians had thrown away in their haste. So the passengers returned and told the king. Then the people went out and plundered the tents of the Syrians. So a seer of fine flour was sold for shekel, and two seers of barley for a shekel, according to the word of God of the lord now the king had appointed the officers on whose hand he leaned to have charge of the gates but the people trampled him in the gates and he died and he died just as the man of god had said who spoke who spoke when the king came down to him so it happened just as the man of god had spoken to king saying two seers of barley for a shekel and a seer of fine flour for a shekel shall be sold tomorrow about this time in the gate of samaria then that officer had answered the man of God and said, Now look, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, could such a thing be? And he said, And he had said, In fact, you shall see it with your eyes, but you shall not eat of it. 
And so it happened to him. For the people trampled him in the gate and he died. Glory be to God for this scripture. My message today is no risk, no reward. Hallelujah. We see how the lepers, you know, those days, the leopards were outcasts. You know, they always put them at the end of the city. Nobody really cared about them. And these leopards were hungry. What did they do? They said, you know what? Let us live here. Let us go to the Syrian, you know, camp. If we die, we die. If we live, we live. Where did I hear that from? I remember Esther, when she was praying, you know, for her people. She wanted to go see the king and she said, if I, if I perish, I perish. If I die, I die. I'm going to see the king. So she didn't care about herself at that point. She took a big risk because apparently you have to make an appointment. In fact, the king has to make an appointment with you for you to see him. You just don't go to the king like that. So these leopards, they took that risk. They went to the Syrian camp. And guess what? There was nobody there. The Lord made them to hear something else. And they ran for their life. Sometimes you will say, God, how will this happen? When we hear the word of God say, move, I will make a way for you. He said, God, how will you, how will you make it happen? The leopards, they just went. They took that bold step. I die, I die. If I perish, I perish. Either ways we die. Whether we stay, whether we go. Either ways we die. In fact, we're even an outcast right now. Nobody cares about us. So I want to say, they took that risk by going to the Syrian camp. And there was nobody there. What was their reward? Gold, silver, clothing. And they were packing. They were plundering. They were packing. They were packing. Blessings upon blessings. Silver, gold. They took that risk. They did not know there was a reward behind it. Now I am asking you, what is that risk that God has put in your heart? That bold step that God has said, move. But you are scared. But you are scared. Why don't you make that move today? Like the, fall, the, like the leopards. Why don't you make that move today? And say, if I perish, I perish. Make that move today. I am encouraging you. It may be to that new job. It may be to that new business. It may be. To that new course that you want to study. What is holding you back? Remember. The message is no risk. No reward. The king's household. The king said go and see. So I am asking you today. You go and see. You say what if it does not work? What if it works? Don't doubt. Remember the king's, uh, the king's, um, one of the king's helper or servant at the beginning, or the king's right hand man said, he was doubting Elisha at the beginning. And guess what? Elisha said, in fact, you shall see it, you shall see it happen. But you shall not eat of it. The man said, look, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, could this be? When Elisha told him by tomorrow about this time, a seer of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel and two seer of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. But he didn't believe. 
He was in doubt. And Elisha told him, you will see it happen, but you shall not eat of it. And guess what? At the end, he was trampled at the gate. He died. So do not doubt. Do not doubt. When God keep on in putting things in your heart, putting things in your heart, you need to move to this location. You need to get that job. You need to apply. Faith without works is dead. So what is holding you back today? What is holding you back from applying to that big job? What is holding you back from moving city? You've been in that city for too long and nothing happened. No progress, just stagnation. Why are you there like the four leopards? Why are you in that city like the four leopards? You have been stagnated for a long time. What are you doing there? You are not moving for a long time. What are you doing there? What is God saying in your heart? Why is that, why is that fear in you? Oh, I cannot, I cannot do that course. Why is there fear in you? Take a bold step like the four leopards. No risk, no reward. Now, I am asking you, what are you going to do next now that you have heard this message? And I believe God is speaking to someone. This passage spoke to me. This leopard took a big risk. I die, I die. I am moving anyway. What is your attitude? Your attitude be, should be no risk, no reward. Take that bold step today, like the four leopards. They went. They had nothing to lose again. But guess what? It was blessings upon blessings. Gold, silver, clothing, and they packed and they packed. Imagine you packing that silver. Imagine you packing that blessings. You don't know what is on the other end. But take that bold step today. Take that bold step today. Take that bold step today. And do not doubt. Just move. Just move. God bless you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord help you. May the Lord comfort you. May the Lord give you wisdom. This 2024. May the Lord push you in the right direction. In the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says, I will instruct you in the way you should go and I will guide you with my eyes. Believe that word today. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Amen. I hope this blessed you. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.